This winter, according to the U.S. Department of Housing and Urban Development, there are 18,000 people experiencing homelessness on the streets of Massachusetts, but there are only 3,000 shelter beds available. So where in western Massachusetts can a person go if they need help and resources? Recently, Keanu became homeless unexpectedly in an unfamiliar environment. He moved from Florida to western Massachusetts and found out that his relative's Section 8 housing wouldn't allow him to stay. This was my first time living like homeless. I didn't even know what to do. I didn't even know what to start. They assumed that I knew everything, but I didn't. I was super stressed out. I didn't know what to do. Keanu's not alone. According to the Massachusetts Coalition of the Homeless, the number of people homeless has doubled since 1990. Resources are available. Northampton Police Chief Jody Casper explains. You are in a community that wants to help you. And if you want to seek out services, be it you need to get your GED, you need food stamps, you need clothing, you don't have a place to have dinner every night, you don't have a place to sleep when it's cold, you have medical needs, you are in a community that will help you meet those needs. And the best way to do that is really just to go to the cot shelter next door. In addition to utilizing resources, moving on from homelessness requires perseverance. As for Keanu, just this past week, after six months of homelessness, he landed two separate job interviews. My quote for me, I always say in my head is, I'm a fighter, not a quitter. So if you quit, you're just gonna fall down. But if you fight for what you want in your dreams, one day you're gonna accomplish it. Reporting from Amherst, this is Justin Marsh.